everyone, welcome back. Before I start, I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone who's supported me on my um, recent videos. My body confidence video has just been amazing, the, um, the response I got from that, because I was very nervous about putting that out there, as you can imagine, but it was completely worth it, and I'm so glad that I did it to help other people out there who may be struggling with body issues. So today I'm quite excited because I'm filming one of my favourite types of videos, and that is all about fashion. So I'm going to be talking about my summer outfits today, and what I think kind of flatters and works for me, and could potentially flatter and work for you as well. Lots of you have been messaging me when I asked about filming this video over on Instagram, so hopefully I'll answer your questions. If I don't answer your questions, then um, feel free to tweet me or message me. Now, you may not know this, but I actually worked in retail for about 12 years, I think. Um, and for a part of that, I did work on the shop floor for a large high street retailer. Um, I worked in the fitting room as a stylist, and we used to get ladies coming in. You'd have to kind of suss out their shape, what might suit them that's on the shop floor. Um, I dressed people who were visiting Buckingham Palace. I had another lady who had a big event at the Savoy. So I love fashion. I love you know, talking about clothes and finding out what works best for shapes, body types, um, and also um, being in a wheelchair. Talking about clothes I think work really well um, when you're in a wheelchair and sussing out what things could potentially flatter us. Um, and before I go on, um, drop me a comment or for everybody else to see as well. And if you're comfortable enough, maybe describe your body shape um, and what you find works for you and makes you feel confident so that if there's someone out there looking for a specific body shape and thinks, oh, what shall I wear? And you are that body shape, they can have a look in the comments and see what works for you. So that's really great that we can, you know, make this into like a community thing and talk about what works. Right, I have been fannying around too much talking, so let's just get on with this and I will talk about some outfits for summer that can work for us. So the first thing that I have been loving is these. These are tapered leg jazzy pants. I call them jazzy pants because these pants are everywhere right now. Um, they've all come with all different sort of jazzy patterns. You can get more tribal patterns, you can get stripes. This is very, very in right now. The tropical print, um, I love these. They are cotton, so they are a natural material, so they're not going to make us sweat, if you know what I mean. They're super duper comfortable. There's no zips, there's no nothing. You just pull them up and off you go. Easy to get on. And the fact that they are tapered at the leg is great because it is going to make our legs look longer, it's gonna make us look slimmer and it's gonna bring the eye down and um, elongate us. Um, also the fact that they're not um, tight at the thigh or at the knee is really nice and really flattering as well. So these are like one of my favoriteest things ever to wear. Now what I like to do is I like to team it up with a cami. I always go for the slouchy fit or um, a more floaty fit as you can see here so it doesn't cling. I know you might be thinking okay she looks quite slim but trust me you know when you sit down you do get the muffin top, you do get little pokey bits that so I know that some people may be self-conscious about and I'm only talking about these because I know a lot of you out there have asked me about it and you know sometimes I feel the same as well. It's nice and baggy, it's nice and loose, it's really nice and cool as well in the summer. It's cotton again so it's a natural material as well and they're super duper comfortable. Not only that it works really well as an outfit that you can wear on a flight if you're going on a summer holiday and as you know in the UK it's not particularly warm or hot most of the time. So I find that this is a really nice summer outfit. You still get the summer vibes, but it can also keep you warm as well because you can team it up with um, a light sweater. This is a nice light white sweater and I'm all about my sweaters. If you've seen my spring outfit, I've got a lot of sweaters over there. So you can go and check those out because they can come out in summer as well. So all of that is my outfit number one. Um, I have got these in a few other um, patterns as well. So I'll just show you those now. And also I popped over to Matalan. It's quite a nice, affordable fashion retailer here in the UK, a bit like Target or something like that. 
Um, and I really wanted to try on those Palizzo pants, I think it's called, or they're just, I've been seeing them everywhere recently, those really wide leg pants. I really wanted to give those a go because I thought they look amazing, they look nice and cool, and they look comfortable as well. Um, and a good sort of alternative to the maxi skirt, which we've been seeing everywhere recently. I over to Matalan and tried them on, and as you can see here, they look quite nice. They look really nice and cool. Um, the fact that you've got a long stripe as well is going to make you look longer and taller and thinner. But just look at all of that material around my waist and thighs. When you sat down in the pants, all of this material like gathered up. Um, it was kind of like a crochet sort of organza material, so I don't know if it's got something to do with the material, but it kind of just looks like I'm wearing a massive nappy. So they were a big no-no for me, but I haven't written them off just yet. They were the first ones I tried on. I would like to try and find some more styles, maybe from some more shops like Primark and Next and New Look and places like that, or ASOS. Um, and maybe a different type of material. The material was quite rough and hard which I didn't like so I'd like to find some cotton ones but they didn't have any of my size in Matalan. In the summer, and it has to be about 26 degrees before I can get the shorts out, I do like to wear denim shorts. When I choose denim shorts, I go short short because all the time I can get away with short short I'm going to wear short short but you know, time sticking on. When I pick denim shorts, I do make sure that there is a little bit of stretch in them that makes them nice and comfy. I find that they are quite easy to get on and off and also if they've got the stretch in them, you don't necessarily have to worry about the um, button and the zip because they can just straight in. Um, these are quite low rise, which I know can be quite annoying if you're transferring or if you're reaching for things. People can get a nice flash of your crack, which is very unsightly. So um, if you go for a, maybe a size bigger, um, then that will help with the crackage issue. Also, someone else was asking about how can you wear shorts without looking like you have nothing on. Do you know what I mean? So you've got your shorts on, but because you're sat down, they ride up, and then you've got your baggy t-shirt on over the top, so it just looks like you're wearing a t-shirt. I personally don't mind that because deep down I know I've got shorts on. Um, but again, maybe try a size up for those. But yeah, I do love my denim shorts. And with my denim shorts, I like to wear nice baggy floaty vests. Again, cotton, so they're nice and cool. They are floaty and baggy, nice and cool again. And also, they're going to hide any lumps and bumps. And I think this is really pretty. This is actually from Spain. I bought it in one of the little shops there. Um, but yeah, I love that outfit. And with these ones, I like to wear a nice floaty top again. Um, this one was just from Primark. It's a good few years old. But to be honest, the weather doesn't really get hot enough here. So I probably only wear it like four times a year. Um, and my daughter gave me a little badge because I had to be in the club. So, you know. But yeah, I like these and I like the embellishments. So another thing that I have been seeing everywhere recently is collots or skorts. Some people are calling them, which is kind of like a skirt in disguise. <gasps> because they're actually shorts, which is really, really cool. And I think a great thing for us to wear. Um, because, you know, when you're transferring, people aren't going to get any cheeky flashes of bits and bobs. And also, um, these ones are quite high-waisted as well, so that can be quite flattering. Over the top of this, I like to wear a nice floaty top again. <laughs> um, when I was in Matalan, they had millions of pairs of shorts that you can see right now. Um, again, they look really flattering. Um, they don't come up too short either. They're just really comfortable and easy to wear with a nice t-shirt over the top. Another thing that I'm really interested in getting, which I didn't actually buy, is a play suit. As you can see right now, I tried on a play suit over in Matalan. It was super, super affordable and it's great for getting dressed in the morning because you've only got to worry about one thing. Just put it on and off you go. And as you can see, it's really flattering. It nips in at the waist. When you're transferring, it's short, so no one's gonna see anything. The only thing that puts me off is that it's 
mostly cold over here so I would need a cardigan so when you go to the toilet for example you've literally got to take everything off a cardigan and then get it down to go to the toilet so I think that would be quite tricky for me if you guys wear play suits or anything like that and you've got any tips let me know because I really want to get one. Another thing I like to wear which I find is really, really flattering are these sort of oversized t-shirts. I have worn this to death. Uh, I think it is so flattering because, you know, it doesn't cling, it's nice and cool, it's nice and baggy. It's a beautiful, bright, vibrant, summery colour. It's got a little bit of embellishment as well and I love it. I love to team this up with some little shorts underneath or I like to team it up with some skinny jeans. Another little hack that I thought of is um, if you're a bit self-conscious about your tummy um, and it's sort of going on, um, is wearing a tight vest, but hear me out, with some shorts. But what I have seen the Rolex but what I've seen the Rolex do is get like a flanny or a jumper and tie it around your waist. Jobs are good and it's going to hide all of your side bits, it's going to hide your tummy and it's quite flattering and looks pretty cool as well. So that's a nice little tip there for you. One thing that we were always sort of taught when we were on the shop floor was to ask a lady the last time she had a bra fit because wearing the right sized underwear makes such a difference to your shape and the way that the clothes are going to fit on you. So whenever I had clients come into the fitting room, I would always ask them, when was the last time you had a bra fit? <clears throat> when was the last time you had a bra fit? Drop it down below. I honestly can't remember the last time I had a bra fit. You know, our shape and everything changes quite a lot and sometimes you don't realise it. And even if you think you are wearing the right bra size, you'll probably be quite surprised that if you've got it professionally fitted and checked, it may actually be too, it may actually be wrong. A third of British women are wearing the wrong size bra. So I would highly recommend that before you go out and buy some new clothes, you get your bra fitted correctly. I'm just gonna show you some pictures now of me wearing some tops with a correct fitting bra and with an ill fitting bra. The bra on the left is too small for me and I'm spilling out over the top of it. The bra on the right is the correct fitting bra. It even makes my waist look a little trimmer. The cami look more attractive. So that is it for my summer wheelchair outfit guide. I hope that some of these tips were useful. Let me know what tip was useful for you and also if you've got any tips then drop them down below. As I said I would like to film a swimwear video and I'd like to film a dress video and also maybe a jeans video as well. So make sure you subscribe for all of that and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye! <laughs>